Hello and welcome to CloudBees. We've put together this instructional video to assist you in submitting a CloudBees Jenkins support request. While this video is good for support requests in general, parts are targeted to CloudBees Jenkins support customers. We hope you find this helpful. Let's get started. To get to the CloudBees support site, go to support.cloudbees.com. Once there, scroll down to see all of the products that CloudBees supports. Look for the Jenkins Butler logo and select CloudBees Jenkins Support. Before proceeding with submitting a request, let's run through some of the other support offerings that may interest you. We will briefly cover the knowledge base, the community, the documentation site, and scheduling an appointment. The CloudBees knowledge base provides a robust library of how-to articles, support solutions, helpful explanations, and much more. The CloudBees community is the place to interact with a community of Jenkins users and CloudBees experts. The CloudBees documentation site is full of rich and detailed documentation about all CloudBees products. Last, but certainly not least, CloudBees offers our platinum level support customers scheduled 30-minute calls with one of our developer support engineers. If you are not yet a Platinum Support customer, please submit a request so that we can discuss the benefits of Platinum Support, including 24-7 support and unlimited Genius appointments. Select Submit a Request to file your support request. You're now at the form that needs to be populated to complete and submit your report request. In the following slides, we will go over the information that CloudBees developer support engineers need to better assist you. The more detailed information that you can provide, the better. Note that in the form, field with a red asterisk are required. Enter the email address that you have previously logged in with or your corporate email address or the email address of a team member that you wish to copy on the ticket. There are four types of request. Question is used to indicate that the requester's issue is a question rather than a problem that needs to be solved. Incident is used to indicate that the requester is experiencing a single occurrence of a larger problem that is affecting multiple users. Problem is used for either our own internal support grouping or has some historical meaning. When in doubt, select incident. Task is used to request a license, or to record a request for enhancement, an RFE. In the subject field, type a brief subject summarizing the issue. Please provide a full description of your issue. It will be helpful to include error messages, steps to re reproduce the issue, any unique environment information, any recent changes in the environment, pipelines, system, etc., and any impact this issue is having on your business or teams or end users. You may need to scroll down to complete the form, then submit done when complete. Here you can help us prioritize the request by selecting one of the following. A low priority is due to an error in a production environment. The product can be used with only slight inconvenience. In addition, all product feature requests and general questions regarding product usage fall into this support level. Normal priority. The product will operate with limitations due to an error in a production environment that is not critical to overall operation. For example, workaround forces a user and or a systems operator to use a time-consuming procedure to operate the environment or removes a non-essential feature. High priority. The product will operate, but due to an error in a production environment, its operation is severely restricted and no workaround is available. Urgent priority. Proven error of the product in a production environment. The product software is unusable, halts, crashes, or is inaccessible, resulting in a critical impact on the operation and no workaround is available. The purpose of the new request, there are a lot of options here. We have narrowed it down to these four that probably fit most CloudBees Jenkins support customers. 
These are related to Jenkins open source software, CloudBees Jenkins distribution, CloudBees Jenkins X distribution, or subscription management or licensing. This is the case where previously you had entered a type of task. The product baseline. This is an optional field, but select CloudBees Jenkins Master if specifically an issue relates to the Jenkins Master. If unsure, leave it blank. Following on to that, if you choose CloudBees Jenkins Master and don't know what version of Jenkins you're using, here's what to do. Simply go to your Jenkins instance and look in the lower right corner of the browser window as indicated by the graphic. The resource ID. This could be the name of a Jenkins job or the repository name. This too is optional and is sometimes provided in, in the description field above. Finally, add any attachments such as support bundles. If your archive is larger than 20 megabyte, please use uploads.cloudbees.com to attach files after the ticket is open. This service works best in Chrome or Firefox. That's it, you're done. Click Submit, and we will follow up with an email that we have received your request. Thank you for watching, and we hope this has been helpful.